Some men never think of it. You did. You'd come along and say you'd nearly bought me flowers, but something had gone wrong. The shop was closed, or you had doubts, the sort that minds like ours dream up incessantly. You thought I might not want your flowers. It made me smile and hug you then. Now I can only smile. But look, the flowers you nearly bought have lasted all this while. That poem, it sounds, the poem sounds as if it's about a relationship that's over, but actually it turned out not to be over. And I'm still with the man who nearly bought me flowers, so I suppose that's one of the reasons I have. Um, and sometimes he brings me flowers. But <laughs> <laughs> poems kind of explain that with language. Often I know what my next poem is going to be about, I just haven't had time to write it yet. But sometimes if I haven't got any ideas, I will sit down and just kind of doodle and see what happens. And sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, being by yourself in a hotel room can be quite a fruitful, um, you know, no one to talk to. But most of my writing is done in my study, at home, with a pencil in a hardback notebook. hotel rooms, um, I'd like to say that we're, we're delighted that Michael Neve is here tonight um, uh, from the um, Bloomsbury Hotel, um, a number of our much valued partners, and uh, the next stage in this project is that the paintings are going to be, all ten of them are going to be framed and hung uh, 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 um, in the Bloomsbury Hotel um, and launched I think on the 1st of May um, at, at a special event. And they will be hanging in the hotel for most of the next year, in fact, um, for people to go and see if you would like to. And, uh, with, 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 and I think a couple of times they're going to be um, uh, borrowed for short exhibitions elsewhere, in particular a, a three-week week exhibition at the Fleming Collection in Mayfair uh, in uh, the spring of, of 2015. So um, this project is really fun and we're going, it's going to be going on for some time. And come the very end, uh, sometime in 2015, we're hoping to hold a, uh, an auction of the paintings uh, and raise some money for Perth the City. Um, so I hope these pictures will find good homes and um, perhaps even one or two of them might end up in national collections, you never know. Um, but in the meantime, uh, the Bloomsbury Hotel is going to be their home for most of the next year. And thank you very much, Michael, for that. And uh, we look forward to seeing them uh, in, in splendor on the wall there sometime soon. <laughs>